Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jay Guap back with another video. Look, today I got some NBA 2K21 news for y'all, bruh. This news right here is such a big deal. I can't even stress it, bruh. We're gonna get into the news later, but you know, I'm just saying this news right here is a make or break type of situation. You know what I'm saying? For NBA 2K21. Uh, if you're new to the channel, man, hit that sub button. We're on the way to 2,000 subs. I know we could possibly hit it before 2K21 drops in a month, but when we hit, when NBA 2K21 drops, we're gonna be on that grind, like a super grind, man. And I know we're gonna get to at least, I know we can get to at least 5K off of NBA 2K21, man, because I'm gonna try to be as consistent as possible. But don't mind the game playing in the back. This was my first time playing on my 2A slash and playmaker in the park. I don't think I did very bad, but you know, I didn't have all my dribble moves and you know, I don't have all my badges. So, you know, it was kind of hard to run around in the park playing against all these tryhards and stuff. But without further ado, bro, we finna get into this. All right, I'm finna read y'all this little note from NBA 2K. I think it's from Mike Wang himself. Uh, I'm not too sure which developer it's from, but I believe it's Mike Wayne. So, let's go. Seemed like everybody was a big fan of how we redesigned the badge system last year with the ability to swap badges in and out as you upgrade. That's returning for NBA 2K21. Throughout the life of NBA 2K20, we collected telemetry data that gave us detailed breakdown of what badges people were equipping for certain, type, certain build types and which ones weren't being used as much. This was very helpful. This was very useful in helping us redesign and tune the badges for NBA 2K21. I think you'll find that more badges will have merit and fight for a spot in your badge loadout, give you more effective tools to take over games in a more varied fashion. And here's some good news that I know the community will appreciate. We removed quick draw and put release speed back in the jump shot creator. So that's one thing you won't have to waste your precious badge points on. Okay, so. Let's go back uh, just a little bit. It says that it seemed like everybody was a fan of this year's bad system. And for the most part, yeah, that's true. But to me personally, I know y'all gonna be like, well, 2K can't please everybody. You just hating, you just, you just, all that, all that, woo -woo -woo -woo, all that crap, bro. Uh, but I really could care less, man. I don't like it, bro. I, that's all you new players and stuff talking about the bad system is good. But just think about this for a minute, bro. Using the bad system, man. Using the bad system from NBA 2K21 means any build can do kind of anything, bro. Like, you never know what the player like. I remember back in NBA 2K17, it was such a balanced game. Well, you, you, I'm not gonna say that. It's not, it wasn't balanced, it wasn't balanced. Okay, but it was a more balanced game just because of the fact that you knew straight up what a build could do. Now, it were certain exceptions like playmakers that could dribble and shoot or playmakers that could dribble and dunk. You know, you never knew with them, but it was an easier game to play and you know, not an easier game to play, but it took more skill kind of than now because now any build can do whatever, kind of whatever they want to do, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie, any build can really do whatever they want to do. So it's, it's, to me it sucks, but to a lot of people it's gonna be like, yeah, that's what we want. So moving on from that, cause I really don't like that situation, but it is what it is. At least, at least they make up for it with this other one. Talking about they took out quick draw and put it back in jump shot creator. That, that right there, bro, that's a plus one, man. I, I hate this quick draw crowd, bro. I really do. Cause who just because just because sometimes just because you are a certain player, bro, uh, like a two-way slash and playmaker, you don't get Hall of Fame badges, so your jump shot is gonna be slower. And I have an offensive threat as well, and my quick draw is on Hall of Fame, so switching from player to player is kind of hard because well, it's not hard to do, but it, it's harder to do because. 
one of the quick draws is gonna go, one of the quick draws on Hall of Fame. I I just don't I just don't see wasting badge points if we're gonna have to use badge points. I just don't see wasting badge points on quick draw. Like that should have never been that should have never been a thing in the first place, bruh. I don't know how y'all feel about it, but it should have never been in the game in the first place, bruh. Like I I just don't get it, man. What were they thinking? And also Intimidator, I'm I'm hoping they took Intimidator out because yeah, they just they needed to take Intimidator out because that badge is super 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 broken. But you know, 2K, you never know with them. They probably leave that badge in even though they sit because because if they're going off of what badges people use, everybody used Intimidator. But I mean, not everybody liked it, but everybody used Intimidator. So. I'm assuming that badge will probably still be in the game. I can't swear to it, but I'm assuming it will be. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the way it says they fine tune the badges to um to be like to be where like for any build or for specific builds, I'm assuming and hoping what I'm hoping is they they'll, they'll let you select They'll only let certain builds select certain badges, like kind of like 2K17, but but not at the same time. So I'm hoping it's like this: so like a sharpshooter can only shoot choose like shooting badges that affect him. Shot creators can only use shot creating type badges. Playmakers can only get like playmaking type badges. I mean, y'all might feel some type of way about that, but it, you know, it's meeting in the middle for what I want plus what everybody else wants. So, um, you know, if you're new to the channel, hit that sub button. I hope this news was helpful. This is my first news video. That's why I went like this. But, you know what I'm saying, bro? Give me the five likes, and I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.